Gonzalo Jimenez de Quesada. Gonzalo Jimenez de Quesada y Rivera, also spelled as de Quesada and Jimenez, Spanish, 1496, other sources state 1506 or 1509, Zuesca. February 16, 1579 was a Spanish explorer and conquistador in northern South America, territories currently known as Colombia. He explored the northern part of South America. As a well-educated lawyer he was one of the intellectuals of the Spanish conquest. He was an effective organizer and leader, designed the first legislation for the government of the area, and was its historian. After 1569 he undertook explorations toward the east searching for the elusive El Dorado, but returned to New Granada in 1573. He has been suggested as a possible model for Cervantes Don Quixote. Family His father, Luis Jimenez de Quesada, was a Hidalgo relative of Gonzalo Francisco de Córdoba, and he had two well-known distant cousins, the conquistadors of Mexico and Peru respectively, Hernán Cortés and Francisco Pizarro. He had three younger brothers, Hernán and Francisco, who also were conquistadors, and Melchor, and a sister, Andrea. That conquest of the Muisca Confederation de Quesada was an Andalusian lawyer, trained in Granada. He was appointed chief magistrate in 1535 and second in command for an expedition to present-day Colombia, because in that period he was not in good standing with the people at home because he had just lost an important court case in which his mother's family was economically involved. The commander of the expedition, Pedro Fernández de Lugo, governor of the Canary Islands, had bought the governorship of Colombia and had equipped a fleet and assembled over a thousand men. And so they set sail to Colombia, thinking they would find a very rich land, full of gold and pearls. But when, after two months of navigation, they reached the small coastal settlement of Santa Marta, all they found was a conglomeration of hovels and filthy, disease-ridden colonists who went about dressed in skins or roughly woven and padded cotton clothes made by the Indians. Soon food became scarce and tropical fevers began to smite down the strongest. In 1536, de Quesada was chosen by de Lugo to command an expedition without any military experience to explore into the interior of New Granada, hoping to discover the dreamed El Dorado. A land party under de Quesada, with Hernán Pérez de Quesada, his brother, Juan San Martín, Juan del Junco, as second in command, Los Aravante and Sergio Bustillo, struck south from Santa Marta, crossed the Caesar River, and arrived at Tamalamec on the Magdalena River. A support fleet of six, or five, ships had also sailed from Santa Marta with 900 men to navigate the Magdalena. Only two of the vessels actually arrived at Tamalamec, and subsequently returned to Santa Marta with many of de Quesada's men. Continuing up the Magdalena as far as La Torre, Baron Cabermeja, de Quesada and his men ascended the Opan River into the Cordillera, reaching the Opan Hills, Chipata, near Vélez, March 1537, and the valley of the Suárez River. Passing Lake Fugna and Lake Suesca, they reached Namacan and Sipacara and finally entered the Muisca Confederation, ruled from Bacata, present-day Bogota and Hunza, today known as Tunja. Dad only 166 men out of 900 survived, suffering terribly in the jungle. They were forced to eat snakes, lizards, frogs, and even the leather torn from their harnesses and the scabbards of their swords. In Bogota, Quesada resigned and called for an election, he was elected captain general, and threw off the last link that held him to the governor. The Muisca had two rulers. The Zipatisquas Susa, ruled in Bogota, the other, the Zac Camun Kitaka, ruled in Tunja. Taking advantage of a war between the two chiefdoms, Quesada's force subdued Bogota and then successfully attacked Tunja. At this point it was time to establish a colony so that the earth itself might properly belong to de Quesada and his men. They chose a spot next to the towering peaks of the east, where the land was high and the rains would quickly run off, where the mountains would protect them from attackers in the jungles below. Quesada placed his right foot on the bare earth and said simply, I take possession of this land in the name of the most sovereign emperor, Charles V. The settlement was at first called New City of Granada, but later they changed it to Santa Fe de Bogota, now known simply as Bogota, from the Chibcha word Bacata the name of one of the two main casacascos of the Muisca Confederation. Quesada remained in the region until the arrival of two expeditions at the end of 1538, Sebastián de Bolalcázar from Quito, Ecuador, one of the captains of Pizarro who had mutinied against his leader, and Nicolás Federman, a German from Venezuela who had rebelled against another German named Hohermuth. 
The three captains met on the savannah of New Granada. All three wanted to claim New Granada for themselves. In order to resolve their dispute, de Quesada persuaded them to go back to Spain with him and to submit their rival territorial claims to the arbitration of the crown. In July 1539, they sailed for Spain from Cartagena. However, none of them obtained the governorship. De Quesada, after nearly a dozen years of wandering disconsolately through the gaming halls of Europe, returned to New Granada in 1550. Here, he settled down to live for nearly 20 years. He was a respected colonist, becoming the most influential man in the colony. He protected his fellow colonists from the severity of the officials and restrained the encomenderos, large landholders, greed. But his own desire for wealth and gold continued to live inside him. Later Expeditions In 1569, at the age of 63, de Quesada received a commission to conquer the Llanos to the east of the Colombian Cordillera. From Bogota in April 1569 with 500 mounted soldiers, 1,500 natives, 1,100 horses and pack animals, 600 head of cattle, 800 pigs, a large number of Negro slaves and eight priests, he first descended to Mercedes on the upper Jara River. There most of the livestock was destroyed by a grass fire. De Quesada's expedition then moved to nearby San Juan de los Llanos, where a course was set for east-southeast, by the guide Pedro Salido and maintained for the following two years. After a year or so some men returned with Juan Maldonado, reaching San Juan after six months with few survivors. Dr. Quesada eventually reached San Fernando de Atabapo at the confluence of the Guaviar and the Orinoco, in December 1571, any further movement requiring the construction of ships. He therefore dejectedly returned to Bogota, arriving in December 1572 with only 25 Spaniards four natives, 18 horses and two priests. The expedition had been one of the most expensive disasters on record. After a brief period of service in a frontier command, during which he suppressed an indigenous uprising, de Quesada, afflicted with leprosy, overcome with despair at his debts, owing more than 60,000 ducats, was forced to seek a milder climate and die quietly, aged 70 to 85, in Suezca, an important market town in the New Kingdom of Granada. Death and Legacy after his death in Mariquita where he was buried in a Santa Lucia Abbey. His remains were there until 1597 when they were exhumed and transferred to Bogota, the city founded by him. Named after Jimenez de Quesada. Gallery. Named after Jimenez de Quesada.